My whole life, I've been told that I've been too much, that I felt too much, that I cried too much, that I was too sensitive, that I took things too personally. I came to the realization, well, I came to the realization a long time ago, that I'm sensitive. And for a long time, I felt really bad about myself for it. As most things. I felt bad about myself. I hated that part of me. I hated the part of me that felt the emotions of other people. I hated the part of me that could feel the intensities of happiness while feeling also the intensities of sadness, of suffering, of anger. I hated the part of me that could feel the mood change in my friends, my coworkers, and the part of me that cried at movies, at every single fucking movie I've ever watched, no matter how bad it is, no matter how non-emotional it is, I assure you, I've probably cried too. I realized that there is a hidden beauty, this wonder in being sensitive. And I found out the term of the HSP, the highly sensitive person, and it encompasses a lot of aspects that I also relate with. And sensitivity is not only being aware of the mood shifts of other people, of acknowledging the beauty in art, music, TV, movies, but in life itself. Acknowledging moments in time that you experience, knowing that what you're doing is creating memories, and knowing that they're ephemeral, that they won't last, and having an appreciation for them. While also this sadness, knowing that it will end, and the feeling is intense. But it also encompasses your exterior factors, the inability to watch scary movies because it's just too much, or being startled easily, now that's something I struggle with. <laughs> or maybe feeling a piece of fabric on you and it starts to get like super overwhelming and you're like, I can't with this. It's a lot of things. And I wanted to bring a little bit of appreciation because I feel like those who are highly sensitive, you might not relate with all of the traits of a highly sensitive person, you might relate with some, but if you're a sensitive person, I feel like we have a gift, a gift of seeing the world a little bit differently, as if we lived on our own planet. We were living the same lives as everybody else, but we see things differently and we feel things differently. Things that maybe other people might not understand. Things that maybe other people might not feel. And it feels like everything that we experience from life feels more intense. And I think that that is such a fucking beautiful thing. What? a privilege to be able to be alive, to be able to feel things intensely, to be able to go to a concert and be so immersed by the music that you just start to cry, or to be experiencing a moment with your family and just being so grateful that you are experiencing that moment with them that you start to cry. And look, I've been called a crybaby my whole fucking life. Maybe because I'm a cancer, okay? But let's, we're gonna leave astrology out of this, okay? Because it's just fucking stars and shit, right? But seriously, every time I experience a moment happy or sad or beautiful, I can't help but cry because I feel the intensity of it all. I remember I was dating somebody and they were a musician and they played in a classical orchestra and I 
uh, he was playing at a church one time and I went to go see him play and being in the church which is already filled with history painful history beauty everything you could possibly imagine regardless if you're religious or not but also hearing the phonetics of the orchestra emanate all over the church how it echoes and how it touches your soul in a way that is so profound it is inexplainable i remember in that moment i was sitting there and even just thinking about this moment makes me tear up because what a privilege what a privilege to be able to feel things so intensely. You're in your own world. You're living life as a human. As humans, we feel things. And you know, I hated myself for a good part of my youth because I suffered with this. Suffered. People always said that my sensitivity was holding me back or it was a trait that I should just get over. I don't think so anymore. I think it makes life worth living. And yeah, we experience our lows very low. Like, oh my god, we suffer intensely. We suffer for others. We suffer for ourselves. We can watch a movie and feel just exactly how person in the movie feels and I think to myself I wouldn't have it any other way I would not live on any other planet than the one I live in now where I get to experience the beauty of life so intensely and some people numb themselves to it they numb their thoughts their emotions they run away from it because it's too much and it is it is a lot it's a fucking lot but sometimes i think the world that i'm able to feel it the way that i do that i'm able to think of a memory and to be brought to tears not because i'm sad not because i'm happy but because so beautiful life is so beautiful and sensitivity is such a beautiful trait that i feel doesn't get recognized enough or gets talked to shit about a lot but man what a privilege what a privilege to be able to feel things so intensely and sometimes when you might be suffering and you might be be feeling that intensity you wish you wouldn't and for a long time I wish I could just numb it that I could run away from it believe me I know but now I can look at my suffering my sadness and say I am a human being I'm alive I'm so grateful to be feeling the feelings that I feel because it means that I'm alive and it means that I'm a human and I wouldn't have it any other way. Thanks for watching. <laughs>